Hello everyone. It is November November 30th, Wednesday. And this is a kiln opening. Um, it does not have the Santas in it that I made because those have to be bisque fired. So I bisque fired them and they're actually in the kiln firing out where I work right now. So I'll post a picture of those Santas on the actual um, front page of the video where I made those. Um, but I think everything else is, there's not a whole, there's not a whole lot in here, I don't think. Um, I mean, it's a full kiln, but, um, but you didn't see everything that I glazed. I did some weird glazes and hopefully I remember what, you know, all the, the glaze combinations. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I should write it down, but I, you know, I don't. But anyway, let me lower you down see see what's in this kiln. <laughs> You might see a couple little kitty cats running around because they love being out here in the greenhouse. Right. I'm hoping they don't want it. Uh oh, hang on a second. What do you have? Oh, poi poi, poi poi. Oh gosh. Jeez, sir. Sorry, they're chewing on styrofoam, we found. Oh, this Christmas tree. Well, let me start with this first one. This is just. Um, this is one of those trays I made um, from the chicken breast trays, with styrofoam trays. It has a hairline crack here, so what I did was I just put some little fishy on there. You can see them. And I'm going to use this as um, my cat tray. So I'm going to put my cat's water bowl and food bowl on here, and that way it prevents them from, you know, for some reason cats like to just push things off the shelf and, you know, let them do a crash, I don't know, but they like to push things away. So this will prevent them from knocking their water bowl and their food bowl over. <laughs> so I thought instead of throwing it away, I'll just use it for that. Oops, let's see here. Let me get this out. Now this tree, I don't know if you guys will like it, but I'm really like liking this Christmas tree that I glazed. So this one I made actually last year. Um, I think this is a, isn't that cool? So this is actually a manganese wash. So um, I don't have the little, a little, they come in little jars, like you can see that, like two, <laughs> like two inches tall. And you glaze it on, see if you can see this? It's like a green metallic. I painted the whole thing and then I wiped it back with a sponge. And um, I mean, you could leave the whole thing like that, and which you know would have been neat too. I wasn't, I actually really thought this would be a little bit greener than what it is. I wiped it back more than what I really wanted to. But it's really neat, isn't it? Like I said, can you see the metallic? really a neat it's a manganese wash so you get them in the extended like I said in these little two ounce containers and then they last forever because you add water to them so yeah really liking that but I made this I think I made this last year I don't know if you guys saw me make that or not let me set it up here where the hopefully the kitty cats don't get to it so, oh, this one turned out nice, you guys, huh, well, it's, it's got a few chips on the bottom where it's stuck to the kiln. Um, it's, this has, I didn't wipe this back quite enough. It has a texture here that I wanted to, to get, I wanted the glaze to get inside there. And I should have wiped off a little more, but it'll be okay. Um, but this is Patina by Mako, and this is Iron Stone by, I believe that's Amico. So, I love Iron Stone. It's just kind of a, if you can, it's kind of a metallic-y color too. So yeah, just a little, you know, shallow, 
and then I just put a foot on the bottom. This was a hand, um, a hand built bowl. This is in the throne bowl, so I put its own foot on the bottom. I kind of wish I just left the handles off, but I made a nice um, pasta, pasta bowl. But I can still use it as a pasta dish. This, oh, that's, I like, I like that too. Oh, that's turned out neat. So, this is just like the iron stone kind of washed, kind of washed down. And this is called C-Note. That's a Mako glaze. That is really pretty, isn't it? Wow, I like that. Yeah, that's just like iron. I have iron stone, iron. Oh, there's a couple couple different but you can use any you know any dark brown um, and then just wipe it back paint it on a wipe and wipe it back but yeah that's turned out really pretty I'm gonna try and take a lot of these well I should say a lot of these I'm gonna take some of these to my next show but it's it's, it's actually a pretty small show and um, I only have like an eight foot or ten foot table, so I'm thinking I won't, you know, take a whole lot. So what I'm gonna do is that's my last show of the year. So I'm gonna load up my my Etsy shop afterwards. I run a huge um, a huge sale and try and get rid of some of my inventory. This is kind of oh, it cracked. Oh. Well, it doesn't really matter how pretty it turned out. Look at the bottom. It cracked. I never, I never, oh, jeez. Molly! Good Lord. These cats, they are like acrobats. They want outside so bad. She can. The greenhouse has a couple windows that are... Um, it's cracked open a little bit. And she can smell that air, feel that air coming in there. So you can see this. This is, this is, um, oh, um, it kind of rippled in the side too. So I don't know, kind of crawled a little bit. Um, I'm trying to think, this was a lime green here. And then stone, oh, I can't think of the name of it. It's a, I think it's a Laguna Glaze, stone blue, or I don't know. I can't think of it right now. But anyway, that was pretty. And that green I put over the top here, so it would run, which it did. But it's not my favorite. Good thing because it cracked, right? I gotta be careful where I walk. Oh, jeez. I've got cats everywhere. Two, only two cats, but jeez, sir. Oh, oh my goodness sakes. I might have to shoo them out of here. I'm afraid I'm gonna step on them. <laughs> if I could show you Molly. Let me show you. Are you gonna get down now or? Oh, sorry, gosh. Hang on there. Yeah. This is Molly walking around on my shelf. Hey. She is dying to get outside. Yeah. Yeah, you're looking for a window, aren't you, huh? Oh, goodness sakes. These cats. Goodness sakes, I had no, no idea. The last cat we had was uh, an outdoor cat, and it wasn't any trouble at all. These are, these are strictly indoor cats, and they are nothing but, <laughs> nothing but trouble, trouble, trouble. Okay, so this is, um, 
another one with the C note, but this one has Dark Walnut by Mako down here. That really turned out pretty. Molly, no, no. Yeah, I really like that. This really, this C note is really one of my favorites. No. She wants out. No, you can't. Oh, jeez. Molly. You got a bad girl. Bad girl. Okay, so here's the one I do with the roses. And this is... So here's the outside. Here's my roses. Now, as you can see, if you remember when I did those, I did a whole bunch of colors in there. And it's just so irritating when a lot of the colors kind of burn out. Look, look at that. The dark has become so dark. So you gotta be careful not to make these black lines with your liner, with your with your black underglaze liner. You gotta be careful not to make them too dark or not, not too thick and not too many because they will take over, take them over. Overall, it's pretty, but I wish some of the other colors would stay in there. So that's pretty. So here is, oh, Right, here's the inside of the bowl I wrote on. Not too excited. And here, it's pretty. The glaze is somewhat pitted, and I think it's because um, of the way it was bisque fired. I should have, you know, when you glaze and you get those little tiny pinholes, I should have smeared all these over. It turned out pretty, didn't it? I keep hearing car doors outside. But this is this is when schools let out, so Yeah, that's pretty. It's got a little little chunk of underglaze that didn't melt on there, which is kind of a bummer, but, but yeah, that turned out cute. Cute. Oh, whoops, jeez. <laughs> Millie's under my, Millie's under my foot. And one more shelf. When you have big stuff, your kiln fills up a lot faster. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wow. I'll save the I'll save the really ugly one for last. I don't know if you can see it down in here. Oh lord. Okay, let's do the other finger one. And that's where you can see where I wrote on it. And then this one, I think this is the one you guys might have seen. Oh, that turned out pretty. Very pretty. I like the little flecks that I put on there. Yeah. I really like that. That turned out pretty. A couple bowls I liked. Let's see this last one. This other one. This is these always turn out. Well, that's got a little thin spot there. Oh gosh. Um, you know, I probably chipped off a chunk when I loaded the kiln. This is that stone blue that 
by Mako. It's a really pretty blue. It always turns out nice. But, but I'm sure when I picked it up, I chipped, I chipped a piece off, so I can refire it. Or it can become a cat bowl. Not a big deal. And the last bowl, well, this was a test. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a test that failed miserably. <laughs> so can you see this bowl? Okay, so what I did was, people always ask me, especially in my pottery class at uh, Dunham, at the rec center, if they can put under glazes over regular glazes. And, and I had never done that before, and I thought, you know, what the heck, I'll give it a try. <laughs> Well, I must have not washed this bowl. Let me get close here. I must have not washed this bowl very well because it crawled here. Now, glazes crawl for different reasons. Um, sometimes the composition of the glaze itself could be compromised. If it's a glaze that you've had for a while and you add water and more water and, um, you know, kind of it loses some of its ingredients. Or... Um, if the, if the glaze doesn't match the, the clay body that well, like the fit isn't right, but I don't believe that's the case. I think I, um, I think I, I, I really think I, I had some dust on here that I missed wiping off. But anyway, I don't know if you can see this, but so the white, wherever the white underglaze is, I'm trying to see if you guys can see how that's puffed up it's puffed up um look at this it's like a crater can you see that i mean it, i don't know if it really shows the but it's all wherever the white underglaze is on top of the blue regular glaze it's all puffed up it is it is just really and look at the outside i mean it's kind of a neat effect Gosh, it's not showing up here very well. Let's see. I don't know if you can see how it's, look how it's bubbled. Can you see, yeah, can you see that right here? The whole pot where the white under glaze is over the other, the regular glaze, is all bubbled. <coughs> Excuse me, I still have a little bit of a cough. <coughs> so, that bowl is ruined. And that's the last bowl. This is not, I wouldn't say this was a real successful firing, but, hmm. It's a really neat, let me back up here and show you, it's, it's a pretty bowl. <laughs> um, it's a really neat effect. In fact, it's, if it hadn't, I'm, I, hmm. I could maybe put a clear glaze over here and try to refire this. Kind of be interesting to see. Might be something I do just as like a test piece, you know. I really thought that the underglaze would kind of mix with the glaze underneath and become uh, shiny, but but it did not. So, yeah. So you can probably see, like I said over here, how how rough that is. So anyway, well, that is my kiln opening. Not too exciting. Um, like I said, the fingerprint bowls turned out good. Um, let's see if I can raise this up. Oh, there we go. So the fingerprint bowls turned out good, and the C note bowls and the tree. I can say that it was a, it was. These turned out really pretty. These see the C note by Mako. That's one of their newer glazes. I love I love glazes that have different textures and colors with the same glaze. Um, you know they you know when you fire them they, they fit together, they go together. You don't have uh, glaze clay fit issues. And then my tree. I'm really liking this tree too. That's pretty. 
I think next time I'll probably leave a little bit more of the manganese wash on here. But I like it, so happy with that. I'll take that with me to the show next, I think it's next Tuesday night. And then after that, um, I have I have a lot of pottery left over from the year. And I like to get rid of it by the end of the year, most of it. Um, Cause you know, I always like to try new things starting in the new year. So I'll probably do a huge sale in my Etsy shop. And, um, and I will, when I go back to work, um, the kiln at work should be cool enough by Friday morning to get the snowmen out. I mean, not snowmen, Santa's. I have snowmen lanterns too there that I have to glaze tomorrow. But anyway, um, but the Santa's all, I'll put a picture of those on the video itself so you get to see those. Anyway, that's it for today. Have a great day. And I don't know when my next video will be. Um, I wanted to, to do some Christmas trees. I know I won't have any done for this year. But I, I have a, uh, you know, some really neat Christmas trees I wanted to show a video of. So I may, I may do that. And let's see. I do another kiln opening from Dunham. I'll show you some of that stuff I did there. But uh, so we'll see. Anyway, have a great day and I will see you later. Thanks for watching.